Today we are going to learn about work ethics. This is uh, topic number six and I am going to record this uh, lecture for you. So the first slide is what is the work ethic? It is a standard of conduct and values for job performers. So basically it is a standards con conduct uh, what should you do and uh, what is the value for the job performance. Uh, there are basically 10 top 10 work ethics which we are going to discuss today. The first is attendance, number two is the character, then teamwork, appearance, attitudes, productivity, organizational skills, communication and cooperation and the last one is respects. So let's discuss one by one as we move forward. So the number one is the attendance. So what is attendance? It is the action or the state of going regularly to or being present at work. So attendance means like we always take the attendance in the class. When you come in the class, we call your name and we see you are there or not there on time. So same thing is in the uh, workplaces. Uh, so what are the ethics of attendance? Limit ab absences mean you try to limit your absentees. So try to go to the work regularly. Be at work every day possible. Yeah, try to go to work every day. Uh, then if you want, if you cannot due to some reason cannot go to the work, so plan it or uh, in case of emergency, that is okay. But if you want to go to some place like wedding or something else so you have something else to do so please call ahead and tell your office that you are not coming don't ab abuse leave time what that means is like in every place workplace there is a some time you can take leave like for 10 days out of one year or five days so don't abuse it don't use it unless you need them necessarily but if sometimes you know some companies ask you to take those 10 days because sometimes they don't carry forward then come to work on time be punctual every day yeah that is the big things this is like coming to work on time is the biggest the first thing in, in, is in the attendance or in the work ethic so the next one is uh, character so <clears throat> It, what is character? It is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. So it is your moral and mental qualities. So, you know, character, good character means if you have good mental and moral qualities, you have a good character. If you don't, then you, you, you don't have the good character. So what, it, what counts? You, you should be honest. You should be dependable. You should be loyal and you should be willing to learn in at workplace. So what is honesty? Honesty the single most important factor having a direct bearing on the final success of an individual corporation or product. So you should be very honest at your work. So then dependable. Yeah, it is very important that you should be dependable if you are not dependable you might lose job right away because maybe they can compromise your quality of work but dependency be dependent be dependable is very important be loyal speak positively about the company so you always where you are working be positive toward that company if you are not then they might fire you or they might not like you so honest your character is that where you are working you should you should be loyal to them then look to improve your skills so always try to find learn new things uh, and don't hesitate to learn the new things then the next one is teamwork the combined action of a group to be effective and efficient so what does uh, teamwork mean the combined action so teamwork mean you are working together to achieve objective of the company effectively and efficiently efficiently mean with less cost and effectively on 
time when you are when the thing is needed you should do that at that particular time and with a less resources so this is called team work like uh, when you are playing in a game you all work together to win that match same is in the at the workplace so if one player is not working you know it might uh, ruin the the work of whole team so as a player you know that if uh, one player or two players are not playing rightly so hold you you might get defeated from the competitor so same thing is at work be a team player yes team player mean so always go with the team do what the team is required to do that the ability to get along with others including those you don't necessarily like sometime you maybe you don't like other player but you don't like other co-workers but you have to work for the company for your organization so that company should win then you should have leadership abilities uh, to lead the other people so ability to be led and are to be become the leader so when you have leadership uh, qualities then people will look toward you or you can give them advice and if you have a plan and make them uh, convince that they will follow your instructions be a contributing members yes always try to contribute toward the achievement of the goals put your efforts is not there sit, sit there and you know don't do don't do anything so you should always be contributing otherwise you are not a team member you will be not uh, the part of that organization so what is be a contributing members the ability to carry your own weight and help other who are struggling so not only you are uh, uh, doing your own responsibility your own fulfilling your own responsibility and work try to help other they are those are struggling or lagging behind because if you don't help them they might puri team ko wo dubo sakte hain to better hai ki aap unki bhi madad kare then accept compromise it is very important that you compromise you know give and take uh, sometime don't people are not flexible and they are rigid and they break the team this way you will not achieve the objective effectively and efficiently you should be working toward the common goal so recognize when to speak up with an idea and when to compromise by blend ideas together so you have to speak your ideas when you think it is required and when you think you know you they need a compromise so do the compromise and go ahead so this was Uh, our slide for the teamwork then go next one is appearance yes appearance is very important your appearance is how you look what that mean is that how you how people look at you or how you look so is called your appearance what that include uh your clothes your hair your facial expression your skin tone your posture and overall your appearance so in a package how how do you look like so if you know good appearance you know you can impress other people and there is a proper way of uh, dressing proper way of uh, uh, coming to the office so how we do that dress appropriately you know even in classroom i always advise you to come uh, like a wearing uh, you know better clothes it doesn't mean expensive clothes but you know clean uh, you look you should look clean you should be combed your hair and you know look like a normal student so same thing at workplace dress for success yeah right always uh, when you will uh, become like executive or manager so you should always wear a uh, dress for uh, success set your best foot forward that mean is that you always show your good uh, side first personal hygiene maintaining cleanliness of one's body and clothing to preserve overall health and well being yes personal hygiene is very important you know and it is part of your appearance if you if you look good it mean your your hygiene is also good you look healthy your your teeth are clean your face is clean you trimmed your clothes are uh, clean not dirty so your boots or shoes are polished so these are is a part of your personal hygiene you know your nails are uh, 
trimmed uh, your hairs are also trimmed so your hair are you know well uh, combed so these are uh, everything you should look like clean so it's not only making your appearance better but also keep you healthy and always they say you know healthy body has a healthy mind so then good manners is uh, you say hi shake hands and eye contact and you know uh, be respectful so then remember that the first impression of who you are can last a lifetime so you know people it your appearance make a perception in other people that how you are if you are good looking people will think that you are all, you have a good character so then uh, we all we know that the first impression is the last impression so appearance is very important at a work place then uh, i had another slide for personal hygiene because this is very important so i already discussed in the previous slide about uh, personal hygiene keep hair clean yes should be combed it should be uh, shampooed or uh, are washed so regularly wash and cut your hair to keep a neat appearance yes so care for your dental health health because uh, you know uh, teeth are very important because when you smile or you you know people see your teeth so they should be clean and man- properly maintain maintain a healthy clean mouth is a part of maintaining personal hygiene at work so clean your uh, keep your uh, face uh, clean then you know you should bath and shower regularly use uh, deodorants daily so you should be not uh, smelly because it is very important that when you talk with people or you are close to people you don't smell bad or your mouth don't smell bad so keep your mouth uh, mouth hygiene and your body hygiene very good otherwise people will not like to talk with you or they want, they will stay away from you for this reason keep your clothes also clean because your socks shouldn't smell bad because the, it is another issue sometime you know people are sitting with you and you know if you smell bad they will not like it so keep your hand clean keep your hand neat and maintain restroom hygiene this is another important place uh, important place to keep the hygiene clean because you might get dirty or you know get the germs from that place so not only the restroom all your office place or building should be meant have a uh, healthy hygiene so you will not become sick then the next is attitude it is a settled way of thinking or feeling about uh, something so what is the definition of attitude it is settled mean settled mean is a repeated way of your thinking or feeling about the something so when you have a settled or repeated uh, thinking or feeling about something is become your is called attitude have a good attitude listen to suggestions what what when we are saying good attitude what that means is listen be positive respects other respect others uh, and factitious enthusiasm about life is mean that be happy be enthusiastic don't be dull don't be pessimistic don't be disappointed about things about life so that attitude if you have a negative attitude it become it it may big make whole organization a pessimistic or a negative place and it will be hard for work you there or even for your co workers to uh, work there commitment to job yeah it's very important that what we are doing we should have a commitment you know we have seen here lot of people they are working but they are not they don't have commitment so it is very important that you should have a commitment innovative ideas and finding new ways you should be always innovative try to think about your work and how to improve your work then uh, be help helpful to other people that like we in previous slides we have see that not only you work your own you also uh, help the other accept responsibility yes this is a very important attitude that you respect the take the ownership of the things take the responsibility once work if you make a mistake admit it sometime you know during the work mistakes happen it doesn't matter that uh, you will uh, there will be no mistake no one is perfect 
but once you have a mistake admit it and then try to uh, fix it you know and learn it that next time you will not do that mistake so this is called attitude then the next is productivity the effectiveness of productivity efforts especially in industry as measured in term of rate of output per unit of input so productivity uh, as we defined defined in a business so it is like is this a ratio between input and output that uh, how much uh, uh, input you are using to get the output so higher the ratio is bad more the productivity when you are using less input and giving more output that's called productivity so what that mean is do the work correctly if you for example if you are doing one thing and you are not doing correctly and you are doing it again and again it means you are wasting time and you are also wasting the resources so so don't try to do the things correctly quality and time timeliness are priced mean uh, quality if you do something you know you waste you you use the resources you use the time but the quality is not good so maybe you cannot sell that product or the, or the service so and sometimes if you are you know keeping the quality but using spending too much time that is also you are increasing the cost of that product so may you will it is it may happen that you cannot sell that too or if you are selling you are losing the money so productivity is is also quality is also uh, time get along with the co-workers so it is very important to be uh, cooperative with other workers so that because cooperation is the key to productivity if, if you are working together you will uh, getting the productivity at a higher just pichli slide mein bhi humne baat ki thi ki aap कोऑपरेट एक दूसरे से करेंगे और आगे भी एक कॉपरेशन की हम बात करेंगे देन हेल्प आउट वेन एवर आस्क यू नो यू शुड हेल्प अदर पीपल वेन सम पीपल इज नीडेड डू एक्स्ट्रा विदाउट बींग आस्क या यू हैव टू गो एक्स्ट्रा माइल बिकॉज पीपल आर वॉचिंग यू दैट यू आर डूइंग जस्ट योर वर्ड जॉब दैट इज ओके बट वेन एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रमोशन दे विल सी हु इज डूइंग एक्स्ट्रा हु इज डूइंग मोर देन जॉब बिकॉज दैट जॉब यू आर डूइंग इज यू हैव टू डू दैट बिकॉज यू आर गेटिंग प्राइज पे फॉर दैट सो यू हैव टू डू एक्स्ट्रा एंड गो एक्स्ट्रा माइल सो टेक प्राइड इन योर वर्क या बी प्राउड टू बी इन योर वर्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम टीचिंग आई शुड बी प्राउड ऑफ माई टीचिंग बिकॉज विदाउट प्राउडनेस और विदाउट कमिटमेंट और विदाउट टेकिंग द ऑनरशिप आई कैन एट इंक्रीज माई प्रोडक्टिविटी सो जहाँ आपका दिल हो वहाँ पर काम करें अदरवाइज यू विल नॉट डूइंग योर वर्क प्रॉपरली सो डू थिंग्स दैट द बेस्ट यू नो हाउ और वो काम करो जो तुम्हें बहुत जिस जिसका मतलब तुम्हें पता है द नेक्स्ट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्किल्स ऑफकोर्स दिस इज द स्किल्स यू नीड टू ऑर्गेनाइज uh the things like organization skills refer to ability to stay focused on different task and use your time energy strength mental capacity physical space etc effectively and efficiently in order to achieve the desired outcome so what is the meaning of organized organization in a business we defined organization that you are putting your resources where they are mostly required or maximum or oh, optimally used so you should know that uh, how you have to do the work to be more efficient and more effective make an effort to improve yes and then always try keep trying to improve your organizational skills for example you are spending a whole day you know uh, sometimes some students are you know using more time to do one work another are doing less same work in the less time because they are more organized they know how to do the work so if they have better organizational skills make an effort to improve and always try to improve that learn ways to better yourself yes uh, put the things in such a way that it help you to complete the work more efficiently and effectively time management yes time management like i i talked with you right now that it is time is very important because time is also a resource and it is such such kind of resource which we cannot reproduce because once the time is gone is gone you cannot bring it back so time management is very 
important utilize time and resources to get the most out of both so your resources even time is also your resource but here they said utilize time and resources to get most of the both because you have limited time you have limited resources to use those in such a way do through your organizational skills that you get most of it uh, the next slide is communication of course communication is very important and uh, you know uh, I read long time ago that uh, about 70 to 80 percent of all of us are using our time in communication talking communications are in different way you know like I'm communicating with you I'm not before I was talking with you face to face but no I'm recording this for you with the slides so there's a different way of uh, 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 communication communication is a verbal communication is a written communication it is a, a, a direct communication is indirect communication so we uh, always you know busy in communicating with other people and they are symbolic communication they are uh, uh, there are many ways of communicating and uh, you have a full subject about uh, communication skills or how effective communications so you should be very good communicator for your success is very important that you should be very good communicator uh, like like I talk with you like I discussed that written communication being able to correctly write reports and memos it's very important you know when you're writing email to me when you are talking with me when you are so you should be writing properly so you can you can place your intentions or your uh, wishes or your things or what you want to say on the paper or you can talk patterly see this is uh, as a teacher I should have very good communication because I have to convey the things in such a way that you understand what I'm saying so in every workplace or in every even informally or informally you should know how to talk how to communicate with the people and then verbal communication being able to communicate one on one or to a group is like one to one to a group so like I'm talking with you in a group you know I always talk uh, with you in class in a group so I, I mean, you know you are like 100 plus students so I was talking with you and then I'm listening so I will tell you one thing communication communication and communication is the name of the game if you cannot talk you know no one you know see what what you want to say so it's very important that you should be a, a good talker or a good writer uh, or you know you should know how to communicate your uh, uh, intentions so uh, then what is the uh, I, I made a slide that principle of ethical communication uh, now let's discuss the principles of ethical communication uh, so when we are communicating what kind of ethical principles we have to follow so there are some essential to integrity of communication number one is truthfulness accuracy honesty reasonable freedom of expression diversity of perspective uh, tolerance and then responsible decision making so uh, let me explain one by one that uh, briefly that uh, our communication should be based on uh, truth uh, and it has to be uh, right information so that is ethical when we are communicating with someone we should be uh, not lying then next one is uh, accuracy uh, it should be accurate according to our knowledge uh, sometimes we need to make some data presentations facts and figures so we should be be careful when we are reporting this that we our uh, data should be information should be accurate uh, the third one is honesty of course our opinion our communication should be based on honesty uh, not dishonesty we shouldn't be communicating anyone to manipulate the things then uh, the next one is reasonable uh, there should be uh, reasonability in our uh, communication 
we should be very reasonable like we have to we have studied in philosophy that all our community all our things statement should be based on some reason and they should have some rationale so then next is the freedom of expression uh, yes we let uh, talk other people we should give them the freedom to talk and uh, we should have also have a freedom of uh, talking writing expression mean any way of communication we want to we can have it without any hindrance or without any difficulty or obstacles then the next one is diversity of perspective so we have different uh, opinions not only one single opinion or single one track communication like yes man so we should have uh, we have listen people uh, from different uh, from different angle, different people, different thought, different uh, uh, narratives. So then the next one is is the tolerance. So we have a tolerance level to listen to people who may differ from us and then uh, from giving us those information which we are not uh, you know ready to listen. So it's very important that we should uh, uh, we have a uh, capability, courage, our uh, mental capacity to uh, uh, to we have tolerance uh, for the dissent dissent meaning is that anyone who disagree with us uh, so then no, next is that we have to make a responsible decision making in uh, when we are communicating with the people so these are like uh, i briefly explained that what are the ethics in the communication so if you are ethical communicator you have to follow this thing uh, while you are at work uh, so people will trust you you have a credibility and uh, these are the principles of communication like you have to listen to the people as well and then end of the day you have to that make the decision about any issue while you are discussing or communicating among yourself <clears throat> the next one is cooperation Cooperation is process of groups of organism working or acting together for common, mutual or some underlying benefit as opposed to working in competition for selfish benefit. So this is the definition of cooperation. So we cooperate uh, among ourselves uh, when we are working in the organization and uh, we have some common goals or common objectives which are the organizational goal or objectives uh, then we are not opposing each other's uh, uh, and we are we are not we supposed to not oppose each other and we shouldn't be competition to each other for our own personal uh, benefits so when we are working in uh, in organization we all should work for the organization even sometimes we don't uh, agree with those goals or those objectives or those tasks but end of the end of the day if decision is made that uh, you have to do this so you have to do and with with full full heart so follow company's rules and policies yes you have to follow rules and regulations and our policies and procedures to uh, do the things even sometimes you have personal conflict with the other people like I, I, I explain in the teamwork but still you have to follow the uh, rules and policies learn and follow expectations so you learn you should learn what is expected from you and then you follow the expectation from your team team members from your uh, uh, top management from your lower management you have to be uh, you have to learn that what they are expected from you and then you have to fulfill fulfill that uh, expectations that got get along with the co-workers uh, yes cooperation is a key to productivity of course we, if we would not get uh, uh, get along get along mean we have to be aligned aligned mean we have to work together to get the higher productivity then appreciate privileges so we should uh, uh, appreciate what privilege we are getting from the company and uh, favors and we cooperate with them and privileges are favors and benefits so we shouldn't abuse these uh, privileges I don't think this is our right 
because right is something else and privilege is something else right is your right and privilege is one you are getting something extra favor or benefit the last one is respect uh, so respect is very important because all our relationship uh, are based on respecting each other if you don't respect each other then you might uh, not working as smoothly as you supposed to and it is part of your professional conduct that you respect each other even you are uh, not agreeing with the and you maybe have different philosophy of work but respect is there if you want to differ differ respectfully not like uh, abusing someone or disrespect someone else it is a positive feeling or ex- what is the definition of respect it is a positive feeling or action shown towards someone or something considered important or held in high esteem or regard it conveys a sense of admiration for good or valuable qualities so when you are working together you have to give the regard to each other you have to give some importance to each other you have to listen each other you have to respect each other and follow all the manners which come under the respect like you are working hard hard to be uh, your best ability carry out the orders what is ask you to do that do what asked the first time show respect accept and acknowledge an individual's talent and knowledge it is very important that you appreciate other persons even you you know maybe personally you don't like him or her but you know if you think he or she has done a marvelous job you should go and acknowledge it and just appreciate that you know and uh, so because appreciation respect is is a way of motivating other people and uh, it will show you as a as a as a valuable Uh, member of that organization and people will be coming to you and they will be cooperating you they will giving you respect because we know respect earns respect so i think this was the last uh, attribute or last characteristics of uh, uh, work ethics so uh, if you have any question uh, please let me know if you have any question regarding the topic please write down in english and email to me when i'm saying when i'm saying write in english please don't write in english in urdu because sometimes it's hard for me to understand so my email address is like you most of you already knew it is r a j a underscore it is underscore srar at hotmail dot com so it's also written on the slide so please if you have any question if you don't have any question it means you don't have any question so i will try i will make uh, another lecture i will uh, supplement this lecture for your uh, questions and i will give you the answer so please don't hesitate to uh, send me any email or any question uh, hopefully this uh, lecture will be posted on your uh, on the university website and you have uh, opportunity to watch it and uh, listen it uh and i'm uh, i'm there to get your feedback if you think how can I, we will improve that i will because this is the first time we are you know do, we are doing it uh like uh, making videos for learning purposes so but i'm teaching another university that is like live so we get get the right away but this is kind of indirect uh, communication with you so please please don't hesitate you know write down what is your feedback and inshallah i will try my best to do best in the next one uh then uh, last but not least you know this is uh, my opinion that after listening this uh, uh, or watching this uh, video uh, watching this audio listening this audio i want you to uh, write down uh, how do you apply this work ethics which we have studied to your student ethics in your studies classroom and university think like a university or classroom and your uh, is like your workplace and your other students like your coworker so uh, make like about 10 points that what you should have some ethic work ethics or uh, you know study ethics i can say for this so uh, i hope i uh, don't take your more time so thank you for patience thank you for listening 
and I hope we will do much better next time. Uh, Allah Hafiz, take care and see you again. Allah.